Hello everybody, I'm Shelly Geigel with JS Hobbies and Crafts and I wanted to share a few things with you. First off, I finished my carousel putting my photos in and this is actually a gift from my mom and dad for Christmas. The only problem is, is it is pinched in places and um, I had it on the back seat of my car and I slammed on the brakes and whoop, off it went flying. So. I don't think um, my parents are going to mind much if the few things are kind of uh, squished. Uh, I think it's more the sentimental value of actually receiving all these wonderful photographs of their great-grandkids, their grandkids, me, my brother, John, and uh, so I just wanted to really quickly show you how mine came out and how I did it. And I didn't do anything special. I I actually did not even um, use any fancy die cuts, frames, or anything. So I just kind of plastered the photo right on there. So here is some pictures I mounted right on there. And uh, for the pullouts, I did these different ways. Um, like this. I had actually forgot to, on this one to put my solid colored cardstock on this uh, and I just started putting my photos in on it and I noticed, whoops, <laughs> the one that I have down at the store actually has the the photo, uh, the solid colored cardstock, but this, no, nope, it does not. And I don't even think that they're going to care. They're just going to love what they, they get here. Here's something um, just some photos and stuff, how I put it on. That one does have it. Uh, let's see. Uh, coming around, I'm not going to share all my personal photos with you, but I just want to kind of show you how that kind of came out. So some of these I actually left it alone, and then I just placed their photos just right on there. And then they can take these out, and they can see photographs, and even on the back. And so I just kind of around and around I went and added these photos that they have. Now they may have seen a couple of these, but I'm pretty sure that these are all going to be a wonderful surprise for them. So uh, this came out wonderful. I am so happy that Mel, Mel's Paper Creations, showed me and you, actually through me, <laughs> uh, how to make this. This is just awesome. Now I am going to be making another one. If you're wanting to make this, underneath the video there is a link to the tutorial. Um, and I really want to see how yours came out. Um, even if you didn't use the paper I used, I'd love to see it. I have, um, there's JS Hobbies and Crafts on Facebook, or you can email it to me directly. And I'll leave that at the end of the video, my email address, and uh, it's fairly simple. But I'd love to be able to share it with everybody on the Facebook page what you guys made. Um, okay, so uh, here's another example is uh, John and I and our stuff and uh, it's kind of hard to hold it and whatnot but in here I also put little fun things, you know, stuff like that. And more pictures of like family photos and so forth. So I was really happy with how this came out. And I'm so excited to be able to give this to them for Christmas because they, they don't live in my state. They actually uh, are out of state. And why am I having a problem here? Am I stuck on something? Oh, there we go. These, um, what was I going to say? I got sidetracked. Uh, when I'm editing and going back through the video, I'll be going, huh, dong, what's wrong with you today? Okay. My next video I will be doing is on, on how to make the pop-up card, but I am doing a uh, tutorial again with the carousel, but it's going to be a holiday-themed, like Christmas-themed recipe uh, carousel. So you put all your recipes in there. And um, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the paper I'm going to be using. It's just fabulous. I love it. So this is by Cartabella, and it's called... Christmas. Oh, I love this. There is one in here, one sheet in particular I just fell in love with. I, I, I'm going to share it with you. But um, this also comes with a sticker sheet. And 
and uh, for some decorating. But the, the prints are amazing. In fact, this whole page, you could just cut out all those tags, uh, punch a hole, and string them around your gifts uh, for Christmas time. Uh, gift getting uh, tags. They're, they're, it's all there for you. It's awesome. Uh, right here, we have some beautiful festive paper, and then of course we got our plaid. I love that. This page here is my uh, favorite of all, and I absolutely love this. Check it out, guys. And then on the back, we have our festive holly. It looks like holly. Yeah. And then, um, so you only need one pack to complete this, and I probably should have told you that this comes with, let's see, I think it's uh, 12 sheets, yeah, 12 double-sided sheets, and then you get the element sticker sheet, um, but I'm going to be making some Christmas cards here with the leftovers because this is just awesome. How easy is that going to be for me to make my Christmas cards? Yay! And I did already start on those using several different papers, um, holiday papers, and uh, I haven't been able to cut into this white yet because I have to do my tutorial and get my leftovers first. That has snow on it, and that is so cool. I have not seen that before where they did the wood grain. Here's that one, and that one. This has the trees on it. I love it. And look at that, guys. Trim. We all love this page, the trim. Uh, all these ideas have been going through my head on how I want to decorate the uh, carousel. And there is something else I may be using, and I will show you, but don't buy it yet, just in case. Um, well, you might want to, uh, but I'll leave it up to you. I know that we don't have a whole lot of them, but uh, more than likely, I will be using something, and I'm going to show you. So it's a first come, first serve, and I will not be restocking on it because um, uh, they have been sitting on the shelf, and they have not moved much. And this is like the perfect opportunity to use these because they go right in line, and I'll bring it up in a minute. Let me get through this. We got some beautiful, beautiful... Ah, love that. Perfect for cards, perfect for our carousel, and uh, gosh, I might even have leftovers enough to do my little pop-up card. Um, I do have paper set aside for that, I'm going to show you. But any leftovers, I'm even thinking another, I'm going to be making several pop-up cards this year, Christmas ones. Uh, this just, inspiration at its best, guys. <laughs> and we got this, and we got the reds. So we got a lot of traditional colors in this. And, uh, all right. This this uh, collection, um, you can get the chipboard pieces. Now, I have got both of these for this uh, carousel, recipe carousel. And the reason why I decided to go with uh, both the chipboards because one is phrases and one is the accents. And I want a, I want a little of both. So I will be using that. Uh, you will also see that it does, if you're looking to make cards and um, or something else, or even use this um, in another way, perhaps you're going to make a mini album, which would be really cool with this. I, I was at a toss-up with that. I really love this paper, so I did buy extra for myself, just in case I make my mini album. And they do have the uh, Affirma and uh, the frames and tags. This I won't need in my carousel album, but I need it for my personal. <laughs> so I did, I just want to let you know this collection does have everything to go with it, just in case you kind of look at that and go, ooh, I like that. Okay, so uh, at the top of my recipe carousel, I was thinking about using um, this, and it's 
by Daris. It's the Timeless Minis, and look how perfect for a recipe book. And matter of fact, I'm going to take this right on out if I can. Let me see. Oh, yes. I think that this would be kind of cool sitting at the top somewhere on our recipe. And, oh my gosh, I might even try to take pieces off this. This is wonderful. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it all. So this is a maybe, most likely. And I just wanted to show that to you because I see a lot of goodies there, especially when it has to do with baking um, and recipes. So I do have that. Alrighty, let's see here. Oh, the pop-up card, yes. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Psych! I made for the uh, recipe carousel, uh, I made some recipe cards. They're cute, they're simple. I did it on the computer, so those will be available uh, for download. So, but I really wanted to share with you is that um, if you have a lot laminator, after you write your uh, recipe down, laminate it. Now, if you don't have a laminator, that's okay. A lot of people don't even have uh, their recipe cards laminated, but I thought it would be a great idea. For those of you that are messy in the kitchen like me, the, the need for laminating is a must. So I definitely laminated some of my little holiday recipes here, but it's not necessary. I don't sell the laminators or um, anything like that. However, I wanna say, if you are going to get a laminator, uh, go buy one. Please do your shopping and your price comparisons because I can tell you, I bought a laminator uh, two years ago and I got ripped off big time. I spent almost a hundred bucks. So foolish me. <laughs> Did you know that Walmart carries a uh, Scotch brand laminator? You look and see what the reviews are on that. I saw it for $19.99, and I'm pretty sure it's a heat laminator that will do the same thing as this. That has the wide platform. You can get the bigger sheets, so you just lay all your cards in at once and run it through. If you have a laminator but have don't know how to work it, I will be demonstrating how um, to laminate in that tutorial to help you out. Uh, or in, perhaps you just haven't done it in a while and you have one that's been in the closet, drag it out for that tutorial. Uh, but again, it's not necessary. Okay, now the reveal. This is what I, I think I already told you this, but I am definitely going to show it again. On the pop-up card, the holiday pop-up card, I'm going to show you how to make. Uh, I am going to be using the, and I already got into this, okay, so let me show you the cover. It's by Photoplay. It's the Here Comes Santa, and I thought that would be so cute. And um, also, it comes, uh, you can get, if you want, the Affirma die cuts, and I see Santa in there, so, and I see a lot of goodies in there, and I know that this comes with a sticker sheet. So I could use a lot of this as well. I see Santa here too. So um, when we build the pop-up card, not only is the card going to pop up, it's layered, kind of like towered. So this will give us plenty of options for adding cute little elements. Also, not only, and I don't have the card anymore, my Halloween one to show you, it went to mom and dad's. But if you look back at um, my Halloween pop-up card share, you will notice that there's actually little pieces of elements, um, things, Halloween-y things that were not a part of that structure. They were actually in different areas on the card that it still worked, that when you closed it, it didn't get mashed when you opened it back up. So that's what I'm saying that, oh my God, Santa is so darn cute. Check that out. Um, that is perfect. And guess what? This is the sheet we're definitely going to put to good use in the pop-up tutorial. And that is the one I'm actually going to be doing next. It's, it doesn't take long. And I do know after I do that tutorial and I do the recipe tutorial, 
uh, recipe card tutorial and I will be uh, eventually doing a third carousel one. Um, but I am going to be taking a little bit of time off from filming so that I can do some catch up and do some things. And um, during that time, um, I'm hoping to find some really cool inspiration to come back and show you how to make something um, wonderful. So uh, this, this, little, uh, this little video I'm doing now is my share and my haul. And happy crafting, everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to, um, to ask. So I'll see you soon with the pop-up card.